Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Software Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to install web server role on Windows Server 2012 R2. In order to successfully add the IIS role, you will need to have administrative credential on the destination server. And as you are seeing currently, I just log on on this server with administrative credential. So let's start the installation and to do that, just click on add rules and features. On before you begin page, click on next. On select installation type, select role base or feature base installation and then click on next and select our local server that is srt-web01.mylab.local and then click on next. On select server role, select web server IIS. It will ask that uh, this will add certain features and that is IIS management console. Click on add features to add that features that is required by IIS to working properly. Click on next. On uh, select feature page, uh, you can select the feature as per your requirement. Uh, I'm not going to select any features. Just click on next. And this is a brief overview information about the IIS. Click on next. And these are the additional rule service which are coming with uh, web server role. Like, uh, for example, here we have a dynamic content compression as well as we have a, a basic authentication. Let's select the basic authentication as well as we have a Windows authentication. Also, we can include the IIS 6 management compatibility console. So here is the uh, IIS 6 management console. IS6 scripting tools and uh, IS6 WMI capabilities. So, okay, uh, click on next. See, you can select the feature as per your requirement uh, that features you require with web server rule. So, click on next and click on install to start the installation. This will take some minutes to complete the installation of uh, IIS rule on the server. Okay, installation complete successfully on uh, our local server. Click on close to close this wizard. Let's open the IIS uh, management console and here's the IIS manager. So from this console, you can manage your uh, website on this server. Let's expand our computer name. Click on no. And here, expand sites and here you can find your default website. Let's uh, browse it and here we go. And that's it. This is recommended settings. Okay. And this is the uh, default home page of uh, IS 8.0. And if you see is coming from uh, Citro and it pub www root and here we go. This is so. This is the uh, default home directory of our uh, local website, which we have a default website. And uh, from here, you can change your binding. So currently, it's uh, running with uh, HTTP. But in our next video, we are going to see uh, how we can uh, request a certificate from Certificate Authority in Windows Server 2002. So that's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.